with you. Uh, I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. I'm sorry, they, even though there's, they. Only, one, there's only one of them. Why, why is Sam Smith they? No, please do address Douglas first, but I just need to well, correct just you to if clarify, you're going to is, That's how they identify themselves, why is, why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. So what? No one's asked me to. Even the Pope respects people's pronouns now. I don't have to respect anybody's pronouns. Well, that's fine, as long as All that's right. your decision. My cool. pronoun is hottest man in the world. Yeah, well, I'm happy to call you that, Well, Pete. go on, then. Some may disagree, but, well, yeah, go on. Go on, if then. that's what you are, go on, then. then, cool, I will address you as the hottest man in the world. Throughout the entire interview. Throughout the entire okay, interview. OK, let's stick to that. Douglas, let's come back to you. Uh, you don't have to call me the hottest man in the world, even if you're thinking it. Um, <laughs> Sam Smith. I, to me, he's just on an ever-deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and offensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? Uh, he, he's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock as a means to get publicity. And, of course, it's pretty successful. I mean, we're talking about him at the moment. Uh, but it's, it's striking that it's sort of very unoriginal. I mean, all the stuff he's doing, the sort of over-sexualised stuff, the sort of satanic stuff, Madonna did this 40 years ago. Um, uh, you know, uh, uh, pop stars have done this and more for decades now. Uh, I think the only thing that Sam Smith has got sort of going for him on this and the thing that actually is making people notice him on this is that, first of all, he keeps sort of throwing these bollards in the way of everyone by changing his alleged gender all the time. You know, okay, he came so out I some years ago. Why do you say, James? I'll bring he, you he came, he came out many years ago as gay, and then he said he was actually uh, gender queer, and then he said he was non-binary, and he said he didn't know what it meant. Of course, he didn't, because there's no such thing. They. But he he said that they were going to. Uh, he said that he thought that he was gender queer. And he he didn't know what it meant, but he said that he would explain it someday when he did know. And I thought, sort of think, if you're going to make everyone else distort the language, you should know what you're talking about first. So he does that to get publicity, obviously. And the other thing he does is he does this sort of. Um, you know, like uh, taking all his clothes off stuff. And, and the thing that makes it different from other people is that when, oh, I don't know, Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is, like, pudgy and very ugly. And so people look at it, and he looks ridiculous. And the problem is, is that he's saying, don't ridicule me, but it's hard not to ridicule people when they present this themselves. Right, well, that's absolutely okay. disgusting. Yeah, I, what are you talking about? Okay, on that point, I completely agree. Why say don't ridicule me when you deliberately make yourself look ridiculous? No, that is disgusting. That is a completely disgusting. Well, it is disgusting. Yeah, we do find you. it disgusting. No, what you're saying is why disgusting. we're allowed to find it you, disgusting. No, you are not. Yes, you I can't am. keep commenting on what people look like all the time. Yes, I can. Think it's a, if okay they're going to dress like that on a stage in front of millions of people around the world, absolutely, I can. Thank you for getting the pronoun correct. I really appreciate. That. Listen, did I? Douglas, yes, you did. Well, have, you called, have you called me mine? Hottest man in the world, okay. Piers, according to some and yourself. Yeah. Um, listen, the Pope recently said they completely accept every gender identity and that, that everyone is a child. Why should child anyone be compelled to use a pronoun from someone who's I changed their own just... identity three times in three I years? I just want to go back to well. the I think it's yeah. very important to note that other pop stars have done this, including Lewis Capaldi, who recently did a campaign mm. where he was naked on a billboard, and there were nowhere near as many <laughs> vile comments at Lewis Capaldi's body. The only reason you can't seriously... the only reason there's a problem for Sam doing it is because you aren't happy with his gender identity because it makes you feel No, insecure. I don't care about his gender identity. I just don't feel I can be compelled to use pronouns. I don't care about that's that. That's fine. Don't use them if you don't yeah. want to. That's well, wrong, okay. but that's totally Well, you just told me I had to. No, I think you should, but if you don't want to... So I don't have decision. to. Peers, shut up. Well, I'm not Peers. I'm <laughs> hottest man alive. Right. OK. Right, so you're um, changing your name now. You're no longer... But my point about pronoun. Sam Smith is it's just an orgy of, in my view, narcissistic, self-indulgent, deliberately shocking stuff. And Douglas has got a point. He doesn't... He looks terrible. OK, so... Why would you do this? You're friends with Ozzy Osbourne, right? Yeah. And Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat's head on stage. Yeah. That could be considered vulgar. I mean, he basically... Ozzy Osbourne the, never did anything like this. He started the COVID pandemic. You and can't you're seriously think about this. ...about Sam Smith getting you their tits out. You can't seriously think what we're looking at here is actually anything other than ridiculous. No, I think it's absolutely fa fantastic. Really? Yeah, I do. I think it's brilliant. I think it's sexy. I sexy. Think it's you think that's sexy? That is, and I, that's someone. Do you think what we're looking at right now is sexy? Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, seriously. Would you yeah, shag it? <laughs> would I shag it? Did you say? Well, there's a question. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would have sex really? with them. Really? Thank you for well, asking. You're a brave would you, man Douglas? Than me. Because it sounds like you're a little bit too obsessed with them. If I'm honest with you. No, no, no. I can assure you, I'm not. I know what I like, and I don't like 
fat, blubbery show-offs who look hideous dressed in lacy pants with their fat spilling out everywhere and doing it in front of as many people as possible to gain attention. I just don't find that sexy. I'm old-fashioned. Well, it looks like Douglas Murray is having some fun, right? He just asked that young man there, the comedian, Gen Zer millennial, and just ask him, would you shag that in reference to Sam Smith, the artiste? Would you shag that? In other words, would you F that? I'll just say another word. How about, would you like to intercourse that? <laughs> would you like to intercourse that? Would you like to shag that? Oh, that's just classic, classic Douglas Murray with his wit, his sarcasm, just sending it right back to that young man. And I think Douglas is just having some fun cheek and tongue humor. <laughs> Anyways, the whole premise of this is there's nothing new in this, folks. There's absolutely nothing new in this. Anybody that wants to get attention is going to seek attention. And let's face it, these guys are in the entertainment industry. Sam Smith and the other gentleman the um, young comedian mentioned. All of them. Madonna, back in the 80s. Remember Like a Virgin? How that just... Literally, when she came out and did that song and had images of religious figures and statues and talking about the virgin, you know, virginity in a song. This is back in the 80s, folks. 80s. And that made shockwaves. But she got her airtime. And when she went on her show, she talked about it, and people thought it was vulgar and reprehensible and just absolutely. But the thing was is that you compare Madonna in the 80s to this guy, Sam Smith. And like Douglas said, I mean, this guy just absolutely, you know, just, I mean, he, he's, his body is just blubbery. So this kid finds him hot, finds him sexy, Says he'll shag that. Okay, all right. But, like, th there's nothing new here, folks. This is just going to continue to shock. And it's done its effect. He did exactly what he wanted to do. He's getting the airtime on Piers Morgan. Douglas Murray is talking about him. So many others are talking about him. Sales are probably doing quite well. That's what you do when you're in the entertainment business. You try to get as many eyeballs as you can on what you're doing in order to promote your sales because in the bottom line if you don't have sales of albums if you don't sell your merchandise if you don't sell yourself no one's going to do it for you the question just becomes do you find it something that are you going to buy that are you going to go buy tickets are you going to buy the albums are you going to buy the cds if you're going to do that perfectly fine now in terms of the pronoun calling you know what no, we're not calling kind of when that kid keeps going, they, they, I'd be calling going, idiot, idiot, moron. That would be my pronouns that I'd be utilizing for that young kid. Anyways, folks, let's get back to more of the interview. But before we do, this is what we have on tap for you, folks. You're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your host, Dr. Nasser. Well, I give you my political prescription from my political perspective of what happens when all these things collide. Douglas Murray, Piers Morgan, a Gen Z or millennial like this young gay man over here, a queer, whatever he calls himself, asking everyone about their pronouns, social media, culture, religion, entertainment. They all come crashing together. Let's get back to more of the interview right now. Are you friends with Piers Morgan? <laughs> well, you'll notice that you'll, you'll notice, of course, that Piers hasn't appeared on this show naked with nipple tassels on. Yet. I mean, that's Yet, one big Douglas. starter, isn't it? Yet. Again, I just want to. young. I want to quote the Pope again because the Pope has done this Why? documentary. Why? Are you a Catholic? Do you think we're I'm not? All but I think it's. Well, I am a Catholic. So what okay, do you, what great. Do you So the Pope said that to express yourself sexually is a richness, mm. and that anything that detracts from real sexual expression lessens you and depletes that richness. But he's not so, doing this for sexual expression. Oh, dear he's God. He's doing this just... You don't even know. 
just picking your any old doing dogma. it just to be deliberately well, offensive. Just go back to clutching your pearls. Go back to I don't have any pearls. Um, Douglas, are we look? Are we misreading the room here? Are there millions of young people around the world watching this, thinking he's the hottest thing on a stage anywhere in the world right now, and we should just get used to it? Uh, no, no, I don't think so at all. Uh, uh, no gay guys I know are attracted to this. Everyone thinks it's just kind of ugly and stupid and it's attention grabbing and much more. Uh, I, I think Sam Smith's a person of limited talent myself. I don't much <laughs> care for his voice. Wow. But the point is, is that of course he just kind of goes around and tries to make headlines. And as I say, he's pretty successful at doing that. Uh, but yeah. I don't think anyone finds it sexy. I don't know any woman who finds it sexy. I don't know any gay man who finds it sexy. Most gay men I know are attracted to men because they're men. Sam Smith, by the way, is. He's always trying to cough off with people like Tom Daly and things. I don't and think they you don't can speak reciprocate. for all gay men, to be honest with you, what? Douglas. Those are pretty much what? your own words from things I've heard you say before. You can't speak for an entire community. No, so. no, I don't, I don't try to. I don't believe there's any such, such thing as a gay community or an LGBTQIA yeah. plus I, two, I think, two actually, if you think this show is offensive, you should come else. to my stand-up show, because compared Compared to that, what? Sam Smith's tour is a love letter to Christianity and Jesus. Really? So I'll what? see you at my tour. Start tomorrow, by I the did way. It, I did. I, I didn't know you were touring, but good luck with that. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you know what, James? Best of luck with the tour. Uh, you're never going to persuade me, and clearly not Douglas either, that Sam Smith is anything other than an attention seeker. Because. But this whole debate is attention seeking. Isn't being an artist about attention seeking? Well, it Isn't could that the be. Whole point? It could be, but when you're just going to that kind of length just to be deliberately slobbishly offensive, I think it's unacceptable. But you're doing what you would say is slobbishly offensive. You're doing that right now by saying vulgar things about Sam Smith and deliberately misleading. Yeah, but I'm not them. wearing a Satan outfit. Doesn't matter what you're saying. Right naked or and, and semi naked. Like, I mean, and once again, if you act in a vulgar way, you should expect people to be vulgar about you. Probably. I think that's the point. If you're going to do what he does, it's a bit like Madonna. You know, when she says, stop objectifying me, what else are we supposed to do with Madonna? <laughs> given that all she ever does is demand we objectify You know what? You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not being... a cis anything. Uh, uh, right. Shut Honestly, I'm sorry. I'm just carrying on. I don't even know what cis is. Look, it's what sorry, is what, cis. What, what it's did you just say? If you just want to both be. When I was born, what did you just say? I was a cis. What is a cis? Yeah, hang Listen, on, hang on. I've got to hear what, 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 what I'm here what to discuss. What did you just say, James? Apparently, our skin colour is now relevant. I've got to hear that. We're white men. I've got to hear that. You've got So you're now being world debate. So you're now being racist and calling me a cis, a sissy or something. Hang on, Piers. Piers. Wait a second. What did he just say? What did you call us? Repeat it for Douglas. It says you were both... I can't remember, to be honest with you. Cis white. You said, I think you said... OK, why don't you shut Cis up for a moment? Cis white, straight I think you said... Man. Well, Douglas isn't I think straight. You said oh, that you are, both, Douglas. I, I, I think you said we're both cis white straight men. First of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life, which is about 25 years now. I well, don't know how old you, you are. shame on you for but not I was, supporting but I was, the community, I was out as, I was... I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. So do be quiet. Do stop judging other people. And if I oh, were you, me I'd do a judging other people. Research. Are you joking? I would do a little. Oh my God, Douglas, that's do ridiculous. I I'm not the one the judging tiniest, other people here. I'm just pointing out would, facts. I'm if, sorry if, I got your sexuality if, wrong. No, if I were you, I would do the tiniest bit of research before opening your mouth. You're embarrassing yourself. That's probably why people wouldn't want to come so. to your show. I don't think so. You're embarrassing yourself. Gentlemen, you're shame to the queer. You know community. what? I tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> them, I'm not a member them of the queer I'm working community. Here, I'm working you hard. stupid sod. I tell you, I'm not a member of the queer community. The person who ultimately about is genuinely community? embarrassing himself, herself, themselves, whatever, Jesus. is Sam Smith. And um, on that note, we'll leave it. Thank you both very much for the picture. <laughs> wow! 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 Did James that young whippersnapper? <laughs> Did he just get absolutely the velvet glove, as I call it, from Douglas Murray? He <laughs> just smacked him around. I mean, first of all, <laughs> two cis white men. And Piers gets into it. He knows what cis means. He was having a little bit of fun with the kid or whatever. But... Douglas just kept trying to come inside there and said, what would you call me? What you he, he knew there was an end. I mean, he just couldn't wait. He couldn't wait to get his you know, verbal attack in there. And he knew that it was set up perfectly for him. And then he, when he comes back and says, you're part of the, you know, you'd be a, 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 the queer community. I mean, you're just terrible. What are you doing? You know? And so he comes back in classic, classic. I'm not part of the queer community, you stupid sod. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that's unbelievable. And the kid, I mean, that's, he had no idea. Where's his gaydar? Right? Where's the gay radar that we're always told about? This kid couldn't, I mean, that's just amazing. You know, the, this whole thing out of this entire, you know, piece on Piers, uh, Piers and Censored, it's not the fact that Sam S Smith is up there, you know, dressed in devil's clothes, scantily clad, you know, has got things on his nipples or whatever, tassels, and is gyrating around with his microphone. That's not shocking. Uh, you know, singing those songs, that's not shocking. The vulgarity, not shocking. What is shocking is that this kid didn't realize that Douglas Murray was gay. That's what's shocking. <laughs> Anyways, folks, we appreciate the time you took to watch our video. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your host. My name is Dr. Nasser. If you haven't done so already, we'd love for you to subscribe to the channel, like, share, and follow us. You all know what to do. Take a look at our other video links above and below. Share your comments. Love to hear what you have to say. My final thought is always, when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. Until next time, folks, take care and stay safe.